Hello, everybody. This is Helen. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint it、uh, plumes or feathers with watercolor. We're going to do three feathers today. First feather with the pointed、uh, head, and second one with the round head, and the third one will be a fluffy feather. The strong lines with the rubber. Let me tell you a tale about the treasure of my ass. In a tavern restroom, Joe Dumas drills a hole in the wall. Now we brush a layer of water inside this plume. Then I added some、uh, ultramarine blue color to dye this area. This is a very basic watercolor shading skill. Because of the water layer I put first, the edge is going to be very natural and feather-like. Also, because of the water underneath the color,、uh, the color is going to be very dynamic. And the gradient effect、uh, going to be very smooth. Now I use a detail brush to bring the color inside this shape to the outside with really fine lines or skinny lines、uh, to make this feather、uh, even more feather-like. As I bring the color outside the shape,、uh, the edge of this shape is. Getting a lighter color, so it's like a gradient、uh, from the inside of the feather to the outside of the feather,、uh, from the darker color to the lighter color. Now just play with it. I added some lighter blue colors to this feather to make it even uh, more uh, decorative. Just remember that when you use your detail brush uh, to um, draw the、um, Feather lines、uh, make it as skinnier as possible. Do this second one with the same technique.、Uh, put the water first, add color, and then do the details. But this time,、uh, we're going to use two different colors for this feather:、uh, red and purple. I added the red color on the top part of the feather, and the purple to the bottom part of the feather. So the middle area、uh, where the two colors mix together,、uh, I just、um, you know make it very smooth, trans、uh, transformed、uh, by adding、uh, more red colors to it. And then for the edge of this feather, it doesn't need to be a lot of、uh, fine pointed lines.、Uh, it is a kind of smooth、uh, edge. Only use your Detail brush, give it some variation, tiny variation. That's fine.
now let's do the third one. Uh, I want this one to be flappy uh, with the same technique. Water layer first, uh, then some brown color, and then give it some details. Because this is a fluffy feather, so the details, um, the feather on the edge, uh, not supposed to be all pointed to the same direction. It's supposed to be bent over, uh, curl, curly, you know, you should do it um, very uh, casually. Some are longer, some are shorter, but they're all very curly. of the tavern salivate like Bob Blob's dog but I'm a Jeffrey man I've seen that face before I chose to keep an eye on the road yeah no identity no identity first feather is getting dried, so we use another lighter blue color to do the bones. Uh, also use a detail brush, uh, make the bones very skinny. red color for the bones. Uh, it doesn't need the ribs, it only needs the main bone. Uh, and also I use this red color uh, to add some uh, uh, red lines on the bottom uh, to make, make it, um, to give it some depth. And I use brown color to draw the bone and uh, draw more feather like lines. I stuck my gun in a chest, then I gave it to the ball. So give me a chance at the broken Then I use a wet brush with a little bit brown color to feathering this feather uh, from the bone part to the uh, edge. And with the water I added, uh, the feather lines look very naturally uh, that showing up on the uh, feather. Treasure of my ass in a tavern restroom, show two mouth drills a hole in a wall. I'm a walking corpse He said With nine fingers left Joe Dumas floats down the river Giancarlo Meazza goes to jail After a tip of And everybody
that my first feather needs some depth. So I redraw this bone with a darker blue color. And also added some uh, darker blue uh, lines to the bottom of the feather. Also for the second one, I added some brown colors to it. And the third one, I added some uh, shadows with the black. And of course, to make it fluffy, I add some water to feathering the lines. The last step is to add some highlights to the feathers. I use the uh, titanium white acrylic color uh, on my brush and then to add some highlights. play with your own watercolor plumes. You can use uh, different shapes, you can use different colors, combinations, or uh, even you can try different uh, feathers with some reference photos. Uh, so here are some samples, examples that I can give you uh, with my practice ones. If you like this video, please give me a like or leave some comments. Subscribe my channel uh, so that you can have some new information of my new videos. My channel includes acrylic tutorials, watercolor tutorials, my speed video of uh, demonstrations, uh, and some inspiration and sketch tutorials. So if you like, please follow me with my channel or follow me with my Instagram to get my news. Thanks for watching. See you next time.